Harry and Meghan snubbed again as Sussex's televised encounters with Royals Limited. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first public appearance during the Platinum Jubilee will be tightly controlled, as royal aides seek to limit the couple's on-camera interaction with the rest of the royal family. Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's first public appearance during the Platinum Jubilee weekend will be very scripted and tightly controlled, according to a royal expert. The first time that the public will see Harry and Meghan during the celebrations will be at a Jubilee Thanksgiving service at St. Paul's Cathedral on June 3. Daily Mail's royal editor Rebecca English said that the measures taken around the event are an attempt to limit the awkward interactions caught on camera. There is speculation about how the Sussexes will interact with the rest of the royals, which royal aides have taken into account. It is feared that any awkward encounters caught on camera could overshadow the Jubilee. Speaking to Palace Confidential, Ms. English said, Harry and Meghan will be at the service of Thanksgiving, for the life and service of the Queen. My guess is that they will also be at the party in the Palace on the Saturday and the Platinum Jubilee pageant on the Sunday. The service of Thanksgiving is the first time that we will see them interacting with other members of the wider royal family. She continued, but funny enough, it may be the least problematic of the events. It is very scripted, so they all arrive in certain cars and are shown to their seats by ushers. The amount of time that they're seen interacting with other family members on camera will be fairly limited. But as one source said to me the other week, the body language is going to be fascinating. I just hope for the Queen's sake it doesn't overshadow everything else that's going on over the weekend. The event at St. Paul's Cathedral will be on the second day of the extended bank holiday weekend marking the 70-year reign of the Queen. on over the weekend. The event at St. Paul's Cathedral will be on the second day of the extended bank holiday weekend marking the 70-year reign of the Queen. Bible readings, hymns, and prayers to express thankfulness for the Queen's reign, faith and service will also be heard by the congregation. 
Buckingham Palace officials have confirmed that the Queen will travel by car instead of a ceremonial coach to the service of Thanksgiving and will use a shortcut to her seat to ensure her comfort. The palace has made some adjustments to ensure the comfort of the 96-year-old head of state, who has mobility issues. This comes as one leading royal author suggested that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex need to attend the Jubilee to bolster their celebrity credentials and relevance. Hugo Vickers said Harry and Meghan's decision to attend the Platinum Jubilee next month is entirely down to branding. Russell Myers, royal editor of the Daily Mirror, suggested that the couple needed to stay relevant.